All right, so here we are in the simulator, which is a mock-up of the control room of the Columbia Energy Northwest nuclear power plant. I'm just going to do a short video walking down some of the panels. So these, this panel here, this is all our electrical systems, our indications and controls in the control room. We have a big electrical bus. We have three major um, what we call, well, buses, bus SM1, 2, and 3, and that has our real big loads, and then those break off into smaller load centers, um, other buses. We have a bunch of, we have backup buses. This is where our diesels, emergency diesels, tie into SM8, which comes off of SM3. So SM8 is our essential load bus that can get power from SM3 through our normal transformer or from the back or the startup transformer through SM3 or through our backup transformer directly to SM8 or through the diesel directly to SM8. All right, and we come down here these are these are our turbine controls, uh, moisture separator reheaters, the MSRs, turbine vibration monitoring. This is where we actually control our governor valves, turbine valves, bypass valves for our turbine system. I'm gonna be quick about this here. Our air systems, our cooling water. So we have service water. We have TSW temp service or uh, plant service water. And we have circ water systems. This is the main, this is the cooling that goes through the main condensers right here, the circ water system. And then we have our condensate system. We have our feed system and we have steam driven uh, reactor feed turbines here. And then this is the panel where the, the reactor magic happens. So we've got uh, how we select all our control rods. And then this is our full core display that shows the status of the rods, whether they're full in, full out, um, yeah, and then whether, if any problems happen, it shows up there. This is our research system. So we talked about how research, our research pumps provide flow through the core, and these research pumps are what allow us to have uh, to get more megawatts out of the reactor. Because if our research flow goes down or you have a natural circulation, then you're not able to remove as much heat. And this is our, these are our research system. And then we have reactor water cleanup. This gets rid of all the, anything in the system to keep the water as pure as possible. Now we've got our emergency system. So the rest of this is all safety stuff. Uh, this is our reactor core uh, isolation cooling system, RICSI. It's a backup to the feed water system. This is one of our residual heat removal systems. These are our reactor safety relief valves. Uh, so we have 18 relief valves on our reactor that can relieve into a suppression pool in the case, uh, in case of an overpressure condition. And then this is our isolation control. So this is our, where we can manually control our backup safety systems. When we talk about all that logic, the two out of two taken once that closes your MSIVs, uh, one out of two twice, all these logics control all these valves and more. And this is where we make sure they happen. And if they don't, we take manual control. Another residual heat removal system, and then a high pressure core spray system. And a core spray system is important because that's what instead of injecting water into the reactor like Rixi or reactor feed water it actually sprays down onto the into the bubble you know where all the boiling's happening which suppresses that bubble so it's very very effective at removing heat and this is where the shift manager and the control room supervisor would sit these are our symptom based flow charts for our emergency operating procedures. And that's why I'm here today is we've been training uh, 
a new class. It's a two year long program, uh, training a class how to operate all this stuff. And today's one of our simulator days. And then also we have all these back panels. which uh, things like our off gas system, our ventilation systems, uh, a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I thought you'd appreciate a little tour of this. I'm probably swinging this around. I hope it didn't make anybody too dizzy. Uh, but yeah. All right, stay safe, take care. Talk soon.